So I want to talk briefly about injector pumps here. Uh, this was a question I had that I finally answered by disassembling this parts engine I have. This is a Perkins 4.203. Uh, it has a CAV um, DPA injector pump, which I've just removed. That's going to be available for sale. Uh, I had wondered just about injection pump timing. So here's the crank gear. Uh, we have this uh, idler here, uh, another idler, and this would be the injection pump gear. Now the injection pump gear uh, stays timed by being locked in place if this cover was on. It can't, it can't come out of uh, the gear set there. But if you look, uh, it has a little alignment pin there which you'll see aligns with the notch on the CAV DPA pump. So there shouldn't be a problem with uh, alignment uh, when you replace the pump. The only thing you should make note of is you should scribe a mark on this side because you will have a way to retard or advance the timing. So you, because uh, these um, holes are slotted. So you want to mark it before you remove it. One other thing to mention is if you look at the ratio here, this crank spins twice for every rotation, for every two, uh, excuse me, this crank spins twice for every one rotation of the injector pump. Um, because as most people know, in a four-stroke diesel, uh, you have um, one combustion cycle for uh, 720 degrees rotation of the engine. So hopefully that video helps somebody. Uh, we have our garage cat here and, um, that's, uh, pretty much it. All of these parts will be available, uh, on eBay from this engine. This is a Perkins 4.203.2 from 1985. Um, and today's date is November. Well, it's, Today is actually Halloween of 2020, so these will all be available uh, in November of 2020. Thanks for watching.